Houses, businesses, p &M says these crooks are not picky and they're taking their crime to a new low that is putting lives at risk. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is here with details. Dean, just this week, four businesses in the South Valley alone were hit by copper thieves. Now, we've heard the stories before, but this time they took the ground wire. One of the companies found out that could have sparked a fire. I think you have to go do a delivery, and that's the only reason why we didn't turn on the equipment in the back. A scary thought for employees at the Hallgren Company. After they found out with the flick of a power button, a fire could have sparked at the door and frame company this week. If any of our heavy equipment would have been going, like the welding in the back, um, they think that definitely the building would have caught on fire. Rochelle Aker says it was all because some crooks wanted to cash in by stealing copper wire, but it's what they took that made this crime even more dangerous. They took our ground wiring from our transformer box to the building. We were running straight positive electricity here. Aker says they had no idea, so continued to work that morning until a calculator fried up. Then the lights started flickering, so they called PM. They completely shut us down about 2 o'clock on Wednesday. And they would find out three of their neighbors were also hit this month. They would all be added to a long list of victims. Just this last year, we've had over 100 customers who've been victimized by copper thieves. PM says a few months ago, this type of crime was actually decreasing, but recently they've seen a spike. And when the thieves take the ground wire, it's an even bigger concern for not only businesses, homeowners too. If you're unaware that equipment has been vandalized, you may have a threat of electrocution or fire. PM fixed the problem at Hallgren. Now employees are trying to catch up on work that was put on hold while they were in the dark. Now the Hallgren company says PM officials told them the locks on almost all of the businesses in their area were cut off. But some companies were not hit because they didn't have copper wiring inside. Back to you. Crystal, thank you. The Hallgren company replaced the copper wiring with aluminum, which is not as valuable. They're also increasing security measures in and around their building.